Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Friday, May 22nd, and it's 3.28 p.m. So pretty soon it'll be the Sabbath here for those who keep Sabbath. And in Israel, they're already there. I think it's six hours ahead of us, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, Shabbat Shalom to all of you. My, my little puppy has decided to chew up stuff that he doesn't have any right to. He's tearing down his pee-pee pads where I got him taped up so he has something to raise up to. <laughs> if you get my point. He's turning into a big boy. <laughs> anyway, this is the video I wanted to make. I started too earlier and decided I needed more information. Okay, and I prayed about it, and I said, I said, Lord, will you please help me to pull this together? Because I kind of think it's important. I think it's important. I just don't know if I can pull it together. <laughs> so, it has to do with the Kaduri prophecy, okay? Now, it started out, someone sharing with me this video by Revelation. Uh, and I'm not saying this to put him down, because there's... He's just reporting on this prophecy and the astronomy this weekend and Jasper, chew on your toys. Chew on your toys. May have to put him up in his kennel to make a video. Anyway, this video is, is by Revelation chapter 12. Dot com and you spell that all out if you want to watch it and I'll put it in the description box because he shows the star you know all people who have that particular app shows the stars how Venus and Mercury are in alignment and then the Sun and the moon uh, well the moon's not showing because the Sun is blocking it so we're in the new moon phase right? I believe that's how he explained it. Okay. So the video is called Astronomy This Weekend, Exodus 19.1. Okay. Now, I read the Kaduri prophecy off of here, but then I wanted to know more. So I looked into it, and I've got a website here called From the Jerusalem Post. And it's an older article. It's, it was put up September 24, 2019 by somebody I can't pronounce. Sivi, Sivi Joffrey, maybe? Okay, it was, this is article is called, Was Netanyahu slash, or dash, Gantz in pass? Predicted in Mystic's Hidden Manuscript? Well, yes it was. But I'm going to tell you something. Straight, flat up. This is the point of this video. The guy who predicted, it was said predicted, not prophesied, that there would be two prime ministers in Israel at one time and they both would be called Benjamin. Okay, but it goes on. It doesn't just say that. Well, how would a Kabbalist mystic, that's what it means, mystic, how would he have gotten that information? Would the Holy Spirit have told him that? No. This whole prophecy came from the evil dark side. I can promise you that. Just like prophets, that we call prophets, found, said that Trump was going to be elected. First of all, they said way a long time ago, pro hey, Donald Trump's going to run for president and he's going to win. So, because that came to pass, oh, he's a true prophet of God. No, he wasn't. There were several of them, and they weren't 
they can hear from the dark side too. I just want you all to keep that in mind, okay? All right, now how did that happen? Okay, that, that was weird. Stuff had disappeared, and when I put my hands on my laptop to pull it forward, things appeared. That was weird. Okay, so anyway, um, maybe it will be all right if I use the picture here. It's got Benjamin Netanyahu and Rabbi Yitz. Hawk Kaduri meet at Prime Minister's office September 1997. So it was a while ago. Photo credit Avi Oya Ohayan from GPO. Okay. Shoot. Let them leave a message. I know who it is and what they want. There's a package for me at the desk. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start reading here. And it will include the prophecy. Shepardic Kabbalist or mystic Rabbi Yitzhak Kaduri could have predicted the political unrest surrounding recent struggles by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and blue and white leader Benny Gantz. See, his name's Benjamin, but they call him Benny. According to a report by the Hebrew Daily Israel Hayam on Sunday, Information alluding to Kaduri's predictions spread throughout social media and on the messaging application WhatsApp in recent days as well. See, okay, another point I wanted to make is also just because the dark side or Satan's minions gave the prophecy or prediction to somebody doesn't mean it won't come to pass okay because Satan know first of all Satan knows the Bible better than any person he's smarter than us he knows a whole lot because he was in heaven with God we don't know for how long he has the ability to go from here to there to yonder and has minions working for him everywhere who can communicate to him telepathically or in person. So what I'm trying to say is Satan is behind the scenes Controlling the Vatican who controls politics. One of these days, everybody will um, understand that. Good boy. He laid down on his blankie. All right. Kaduri reportedly wrote in... And this is a title. And he swore to Isaac a hidden book that was recently found in the Kabbalistic school of Nehalat Yitzhak that on the eve of the year 5780, and then in parentheses it says, the up coming Hebrew year. Remember, this was written in 2019. September 24, 2019. Alright. 
So this was written that on the eve of the year 5780, which is the upcoming Hebrew year, the year of corrections, there will not be a government in Israel for an extended period, and the various camps will be quarrel. I must have meant quarreling. The camps will be quarreling much without a decision on either side, and then on Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year itself, they will fight in heaven, the holy side against the side of evil. And God and his entourage will decide between them. And this is all I can say. And from here I swore not to reveal more secrets and hidden things. So who do you think would have told him not to say any more? Satan? Probably. The book was purportedly written by Kaduri in his youth and hidden by him. The statements by Kaduri also reference excerpts from the ancient book, The Covenant of the Persimmon, by Kabbalist Rabbi Sasson Hai Shoshone, who Kaduri said was known as, quote, the prophet of Egypt, unquote. Shoshone said there will come on the day that two ministers win. Whoa, that was weird. It's doing the same thing it did earlier. Oh, brother. The book was purportedly written by, okay. It jumped, um, who Kaduri said was known as the prophet of Egypt. Shoshone said, there will come on the day that two ministers win the government in the land of Israel. Both their names will be Benjamin, and neither of them will succeed in establishing their government or king kingship. On that day, know and understand that the King Messiah already stands at the doorway. And on the Sabbath afterwards, he will come and be revealed. Shoshani's statement continues. Understand this and remember it. Okay, now. Let me read that again. On that day, know and understand that the King Messiah already stands at the doorway. Now, who's Messiah? Do you think they mean Jesus Christ or the Antichrist that they will accept as their King Messiah? Okay, what day is he talking about? The day that the two, when there was the first election? Or after the second election or third election? How many elections did they have? That's what I wanted to find out. And then I, I, th I was like, I could, you know, I could go down several rabbit holes and go into several different areas and this could be a three-hour video if I read it all. And my main, my main goal of this is to teach you that anyone who is connecting to the evil side through their mysticism, through their 
uh, occultic ways to opening the door to the devil. They may be Christian, but they're living in the world. They're too worldly. They may be even a uh, famous, used to hear from the Lord, but it went to their head. Look how many leaders started off nobodies in the beginning or they took over their parents churches like Joel Osteen and they weren't John Osteen they just weren't John Osteen was a good man yes it's Tina. Uh, make an, oh. hold on please I will make a part two. I will end this here and I will make a part two. I'll be back.